All right. Go Hello, ahead. everybody. What's up? We're back with another round. We got Franco versus Jimmy. Jimmy playing his own brew of SP Trode against Chenlock, which is a SP ish variant as well. Um, Hanchko Jahana. So, the Hanchko from Supreme Victor is one of my favorite cards. Yeah. Like it's uh, very similar to Sabalok, if you're familiar with Sabalok. Um, Jay Witz, I remember played that. If you remember old Jay Witz videos from now almost 10 years ago. I've never a long time, yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he played, him and his brother played Shenlock and Sabalok for uh, a long time. Hey, last hey last round it was nice to see Quito on play. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you saw me get raffle stomped the last round by a bunch of bees, um, it's it's mildly ironic. All right, well, we're playing because I'm allergic to bees. <laughs> All right, so it appears Jimmy's got a start of a is a C Voltorb. Yeah, for sure. It's that Crobat for your treat, sure. That Nazoth? No, that's a that's a Crobat G. What was it? Is that a Rotom? Is there a Rotom Wash in that deck? Uh, I don't think so. Alright. Alright, alright. So, so, Jimmy's starting off. Jimmy, yeah. We got a Garchomp versus a Crobat as a start. Nice. Um, there's a chance Jimmy could win this turn. Maybe not this turn. That is, in fact, a Rotom from Rising Rivals. It, I don't know which one. I can't tell. But I can tell by its foiling. So oh yeah, it is. A, oh yeah, it is a Rotom, isn't it? I forget. I forget what. I forget which one it is. Yeah, Jimmy, I think, had a quite successful run with this deck in, at Nationals yeah. in, in 2011. Yeah, the Electrode is basically a, another way to get energy. And you have the, um, you know, the Catcher ability or the, you know, Gust ability, whatever you may want to call it, with Luxray GL Level X to be able to pick and choose its knockouts. So yeah. call energy, so broken. Yeah, such a good card. Thankfully, that card just recently saw this is kind of a pseudo reprint. Yeah, um, that is good though. Yeah, yeah. There's better energy. Iconic. Card. Oh, ditto. Ooh, iconic card. This is a quintessential Jimmy Ballard deck. Oh um, yeah. This is um, at the time I remember when it pulled when he rolled up to Nats with this, it was a shock to people. Plays a SP engine, obviously. But yeah, also, call turn, call energy ends your turn, if I remember right. Yeah, you yeah. Use it. But and still, but still, getting two is just yeah, I, so much more. Yeah. It sets up, you know, you have your uh, your bronze on, which sets up plays, and your ditto, which can evolve into just about as it's on the screen. Got Cyrus coming. Mm, VS Seeker when it was only played as like a one of. Now it's not. Now in that. Uh, what a long way VS Seekers come from. Saw no play when it first came out, and then, well, very low play, and then very low play again at, when it got in Screen Victors. Then once Phantom Forces came out, it's like four in every deck. That's because the supporters are so much. We're so much. We're so much. We're. Kind have of worse back a, then. Have you seen the power spur yet today? The no, this is the first SP matchup. This is the first time. Oh, this is the first SP matchup. So we're gonna see one of the. I think it's the, at least when I since I've started playing, the only card you could play on your opponent's turn. <laughs> um, sorry, collector. This is out of the matchups that so far existed. We've got two, you know, world quality 
world esque quality players absolutely playing against each other. So this isn't going to be. I mean, as you saw in my game, um, I'm not very good at this game. So uh, hopefully, I could do a better job commentating. Another thing about the SP matchup, if um, Cyrus you aren't Kurt. familiar with it, there's Cyrus. He allows you to search for most of your engine. Um, Too broken on the card. Too good. These SP mirrors are very, very skill intensive. Absolutely. So this game, That's what I liked about this it. series of games, could take quite some time. I remember matches at regionals and other events taking uh, taking forever. I remember there was a states one year that and <laughs> um there's a states a few years well more than a few years ago that ended in a uh, a restaurant i think it was a waffle house or something like that uh no it no it was uh oh I, no i was i was there i actually judged that event it was wisconsin states yeah. it was uh puka versus uh emmanuel from minnesota and we were at the lobby of our hotel of a uh, Hotel, actually. Yeah, I remember it was, it was, it was, yeah. it was, it was at like 1 a.m. or something like that. Too. Yeah, because they, because they threw us out. I remember that. I remember, I remember that. <laughs> they politely asked us to leave. Yeah, Manuel Devin. Jimmy, See, I, I haven't, I haven't talked to him in ages. The electrode. Anyway. As you can see. Um, yeah, 2010 when I top aided my Wisconsin Rangers, I just played jump bluff, just screw up the SP matchup. Just mess with the top you get the fluff <laughs> now nah, i ended up losing the put i got pwned hard by dialga chop top eight but it was a good it was a fun fo it was a fun format it was a fun format was it puka yeah i lost no, puka yeah, in every, top eight everyone lost he came puka. in a 16th seed and one everyone was top 16 he came every, in. everyone's lost to puka my first but, game in masters was in fact a loss to puka yeah i didn't it was at a battle roads i debuted as a master and he bodied me In the year 2011. Yeah, Cyrus the other way. Oh, there's the Electrode. You're about to see shenanigans. Yeah, I, I don't know if Jimmy plays it, but but I would like to... Oh, oh never mind. Never I mean, mind. we had access to the, the list, possibly. If we never mind. Twin, twins wasn't a card. No. That was until 2011. It was like, it was like through Unleashed, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, it was it, it was like two sets afterwards. It was like, oh, I remember twenty eleven. I remember I remember twenty eleven. I played twins in all my SP decks. Oh, what a single copy! But Jimmy also uses Cyrus to grab the SP radar and energy and a Roseanne's. Um, because it was nice to get the du double DCE, you know, because a lot of the matchups depend on double Carlos. It was like who had the more double Carlos. I saw it I, like every time I would go down a prize, I, like in crucial stage of the game, I just I just twins for two DCs and just win. So I won a lot of my games. Imagine if like enhanced hammer existed in this format. <clears throat> Jimmy SP radars for a luxury. Best card in the format by far, luxury GLOI. That's iconic. It's one of those iconic Pokemon cards that will dominated a full format. Even more than that, even. It's also the first game where it appears no one's really supporter locked or has they all, both of them, both of them appear to have a semi at least a semi playable hand here. Hopefully it oh, okay. The electrode is is when it gets knocked out. You just yeah. don't knock it out. Okay. Never mind about the twins in there. But I, I mean, twins would still be good. Uh, I I, mean, I thought I thought we discard it because it'd be nice to follow. But I, I was the electrode prime that did that. Knock out. 
Yes, you did just see Jimmy attached to a ditto. That is legitimate. And it allows, and then Bronzong allows you if you put two damage uh, counters on it, you can knock move out that around. And that ditto just knocked out a Garchomp seed. Oh, sorry. Sixty. Oh, 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 yeah, it is sixty. I did not knock it out. It does sixty damage. Yeah, that was a good. Is a good. Was a good choice to counter uh, Garchomp's. It's great. Or Ambipom G was that. Yeah, Ambipom G was the obvious one. Ambipom G was it Snapback. Wasn't that the name of the attack? Uh. I am not. I don't quite. I don't quite remember. Snap attack. Oh, something like that. Snap attack. I think sounds. Yeah, you, you attach a double, and you can knock out guard chomps. But so they, they have to be free of energy. It's like it's like it's like if. Like but, they, but, they, but they have to. I, I think they have to have no energy attached though. Yeah, I think so, that's why a lot. Some people played uh, Dragonite FB as well. Dragon FB for a double and a. In a I played. I played Dragonite in a, in a poke game or whatever it's called. Um, would knock out Garchomps as well. well yes, if when we <coughs> have cups, I I believe we plan at least here, we plan on stream. So that question is answered. There's questions Dan will answer. I can't wait either. Gonna be awesome. It's Franco's turn. Franco used Pokemon Collector. Sableye, a Murkrow. Uh oh. There's bring up that Haunch. There's something else. Haunch Crow um is a key part of this deck. Um so it's um, it's, uh, it's been a while since I've it's been ten years since I've played this format. Um I was fourteen playing in seniors in this format. Okay. Um, this ditto, by the way, has 110 hit points, or 100. It matches the hit points of the Garchomp. So our Garchomp C has, level X has 110 hit points. But that ditto is not a 40 HP pile of goo right now. It's technically a Garchomp. 40 HP pile of goo. Nice. Well said. <laughs> well said. Unknown substance, well said. or whatever Ditto is made of. Remember the episode in the anime where Ditto was trying to no, transform? No, I, I don't really see. I don't really watch. That was the old anime. This is way back. This is that's like a throwback back to self retro. I've never actually had the opportunity to see to see this matchup ever. I, I've I've seen Jimmy play this deck a handful of times at at nationals, but that year, um, but uh, so this is a uh, this is going to be interesting for us as a commentary team here, um, as this ditto stands strong. And this ditto could put in a lot of work in this game. It certainly can. I think if I remember right, if you go even farther back, if you go and look up uh, on some, some Jay Witz videos, that his Nationals uh, re review or recap of 2010, he played against Jimmy. I remember watching that game. We're not watching, yeah. but seeing that game happen after I got donked out of that round. He's so he impersonated for per, for Cyrus, yeah. Yeah. So impersonate, as you can see, it allows you. It's it's I the best in my opinion. In my opinion, the best attack I, I think ever because over eager 
would make you go first every time, and you could attack going first. So free attack allowed you to play a supporter going right. first. In the time, you weren't even allowed, you weren't allowed to play supporters. Oh, yeah. It got, the card is so busted that it changed an entire format because when we had a mid-season rotation yeah. because of a deck called Sable Dock, which could feature in future retro leagues. Unknown G to the Crobat. And I believe Franco also grabbed a Power Spray with there, so we might see a first Power Spray drop. DP on was definitely one of the best formats. It's, in fact, it's probably my favorite format of all time. I liked 04 and 07. I liked 2011 as well. 2011 was fun. I think 2011 was fun because I just traveled more than any other year that I previously did. The road memories. Oh, oh right <laughs> we saw, we see an attachment to a Electrode. Getting that working. That Electrode could also put in some work. That Electrode can, can does have an attack that's used. We might see some... Wait, it, Roseanne's so good. I missed that card, too. Sorry about that. Am I doing better? Sorry about that. We got a Roseanne's for an unknown Q and an XE. Sorry about that, guys. Had my microphone a little too close. Oh, Jimmy's going to risk it for the biscuit. Retreat needs a needs a uh, needs a warp point though. No. Nope. All right, here's the icon, the iconic Luxray Geo level X. Needs a needs a pokey turn. The card that defined a format. Seven. Oh. oh. Didn't get the po didn't get didn't get the pokey turn. There's, All a, right. there's a Mr. Mime. Yeah, so, sorry about that, Lince. I had my microphone too close to to my mouth. That's the pokey turn. Franco's hand looks white. I could see. He could use one more SP Pokemon, though. Yeah. He could get it, though. He has access to it. Yeah. Yeah, might not take Guard Stomp off this turn. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good hand there. It's got, you got the energy right. gains, you got a Cyrus, you got a, an SP Radar. So it's, that is the perfect hand for an SP deck. Right. It, it, you know, maybe the uh, only thing that can make it better is like a Garchomp C level X. No, we can't talk to the players. We might be able to hear us. Um, I know I heard my commentary team a little bit, but they turned the music up in the mics for in there. Yeah, they can't hear what's going on. And they won't listen to me anyways. I, I'd give them bad advice on what to do. I'm not going to make guesses on what they're going to what they're going to play here. Not going to lose the guard trying to see. Um, I think it's probably what he's going to go for here. Can't see uh, what else is possible. To the discard. Isn't that what it says? Search That's out a guard shop and click directly in the discard pile? Okay. I'm looking for 
I'm not going to do that, Chris, unfortunately. Um, I like being in this store. <laughs> I got you though, Chris. I'll let him know. <laughs> it's getting a little, I'm getting a little thick. I, mean, I remember speaking of cards. This is <laughs> give him a note. <laughs> got you, buddy. Speaking of that card, I traveled all around the area to find this. This, this, this card, this Toxicroak here was only in one small little promo pack thing, and I traveled all through Northern Illinois to find one, and I couldn't find one. Such a good card against it, it was so, so good. Such and it was only came in this one little box set. So, so I good called, against luxury. I called my grandmother who lives in, who lived in North Carolina. At the time Such a hard card against. And asked her to go to her local stores to try to find me one. And my loving grandma found me one in, I, I, in Shelby, North Carolina. I, I got like three of them at Walmart when they came out. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't have the hindsight to do that. And then, I, and then at Nationals, well, before they rotated, I sold two. I sold two. I had one in my deck, and then I sold. No, I, I didn't play it, but I had one, and then I sold. Franco two. knocked out the ditto in case, in case we, uh, we missed that. I mean, I, I was telling a story, but Franco did, in fact, take a knock on ditto. Garchomp could put in loads of work right now. There's, there's nothing. Uh, there's no colorless Pokemon to, to counter it on the field right now. His hand doesn't look that bad. The cards were very versatile. I was fine. Um, there were so many decks at the end of that S the, the Diamond and Pearl on format that were, were playable. You, you never knew what you were going to play against them at the time. The Shining Voltorb. Yeah, there's an extra Shiny Voltorb. Oh, suck. I pulled that at the, the pre-release fight. That one is really good. The other, the other good, the, the Vulpix is really good too. And then there is, I think there's a Relicant. Man, I really need a Poke Turn so bad. Yeah, yeah, Wimps today, it's just. Jimmy's currently praying for a Poke Turn. Not literally. It's whoever basically sets up Wimps. He, he could really use one right now. And, uh, it would infinitely help his board state. Right now, Franco has the perfect board state. I say perfect. I mean, if that Murkrow evolves into a Honchkrow, he's pretty much in a very good, uh, very good place. And there's a Spirit Tomb. Um, Spirit Tomb has uh, a number of really, really good, strong matchups. I mean, it's not really matchups, but it's a strong, you know, it, it trainer locks. And the entire SP engine is all trainers. So your Poke turns, you can't play your uh, energy gains, your SP radars, all that. Um, we had it round one. You, you got it the last couple rounds. Um, there's going to be no broken time spaces. Yeah, I played. I played jump. I played jumpy against it. Yeah, and I dropped it a couple of times uh, with my tech, with my ram attack. Um, you're probably going to see in play the period. next round. I, I don't know what the next round's matchup is going to be. Um, I don't know if we're locked into the decks that we're playing or we're just playing random decks. But now, Spirit Tomb is especially good in the Stage 2 decks because then you can just evolve. We played it. Gengar played it. My opponent's decks played it. It's just basically Gengar because... Yeah, we're gonna be playing every. We're gonna play different decks on stream. Um, there's gonna be no. Uh, you're not gonna see the same thing twice. We have uh, enough decks and people here to keep it fresh. All of this is going on YouTube next week as well. I had a uh, top cut <clears throat> at Top Cut Networks uh, YouTube page. Go chat it for the win, definitely. I love it. Oh, that's the first oh. power spray we've seen. Power spray 
denies you the ability to use poker powers for that so power. So, so, and, yeah. and the whatever you use, that's card. That's and whatever you use stays on the bench. So it's it's literally just the useless card. Like I I, I got Uxie. I got power sprayed four times in a game one time. Uxie, all four. Just, yeah, that's why it's so broken. Because Jimmy tried using his energy shift ability, and Franco just power sprayed it. Yeah, so that's that's so back breaking for him. That's big. Franco just a knockout. Cause he, cause Jimmy really needed to get that energy in play. That's true. Yeah, I think Jimmy's on the back foot a little bit. Yeah. Now it's supposed to attack the warp on four type of creatures. Yeah, yeah. That card, uh, ran four mats. Just it was, it was, it was devastating. You, it would, it would, you know, some people say that it's a. Uh, it kind of ruined that card. Kind of ruined the format, but I I, I like it. I, I like having the ability to play cards on your opponent's turn. Um, you know the, the the thing I really hated the most was uh, was, was 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 power spray baiting. People, yeah, that was another thing. People would power spray bait. Um, At Wisconsin State, a uh, guy was put, guy was playing a nine tails deck, and. Uh, and uh, he baited the power spray. It was actually so, somebody else is judging. I don't remember who it was, but the get the guy didn't the opponent didn't have the power spray, and then so he said you can, and then so he did, he let him do it, but he didn't have a fire energy in his hand. You would do game losses for it too. I remember. Uh, it, was, I, 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 it was it was it was I think I, I think it was multi prize, but but Troy Lasky at regionals upped it to a. To a game loss, yeah. yeah Troy did, well, Troy, minimal, minimal. Yeah, Troy didn't put up with that. Yeah, he didn't put up with that. Troy last game. Shout out Troy if you happen to be one of the forty-one people watching. Honchkrow G, um, one of I love Honchkrow is one of my favorite Pokemon. So anything with Honchkrow in general, I enjoy. But this, there's two different Honchkrows in this in this deck That's that are both terrible. really good. Um, I played a, a Gyarados deck with. The SP engine with Haunch Crow G is a, this card here. Boom! I played this in the Gyarados deck. That's why I played it. It's pretty much a, a, a Sableock deck, but instead of the Garchomps and yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is what it wants. This is what it uses. This is what it wants to do. Mid the way game, it's just get the Cyrus and what she is right now. Jimmy's hand is about to become two cards. But no, this is what the deck wants to do. Mid the way game is get. Get him down low, and then Cyrus, Cyrus, him so he can oh, he has, take away his hand. He has no DC. He has an unknown cube and a call energy. What's uh, the top deck? Oh, okay, that is not. That's not. That's not good. That's not good. That's not top deck I would want to be in that spot. I mean, he got three. Not much he can really do here. I mean, you could call energy and could get maybe. I don't know. I don't know Jimmy's list. He he, he, he plays his own lists. Um, I don't know the answer. Please, I can't restore again. Haunch Crow should be 30. Haunch Crow is about to yeah, attach to Luxor. Maybe see. We use the That's a good one to pull up because it's got the most HP and it's already, you've already used its ability. So. Uh -huh. Let's see if we missed. Yeah, he, yeah, that wasn't. That was, in fact, a Frost Rope. Probably, probably Spiritomb, because then he can... Uh, that's what I was thinking. Spiritomb, maybe. Maybe even... No, this is what the Haunch Crow is supposed to survive against. It could go for the Cario. He looks like he's eyeing up the... But, Oh, 
Thank you, Lord, for your word. Mr. Mai, Mr. Mai, this is your first piece of mine from... It's from Mr. Chuggers, I know that. The opponent's Pokemon that has two or less energy attached to it. Okay. Please don't impersonate. Team Virus Initiative again. So it prevents all the, da it prevents all the damage. Two or less. So it can't be guard charm. Because unless he physically attaches a card energy, he can't, he can't be defeated. Let's just do this one. Interesting. I should get Mon Block. Yeah, but Franco looks like he's in a pretty good spot at the moment. Special dark. All of them are first move. I need to attach to that dark. Cyrus, get. get. Sorry about that, Yawn. You heard it. Cyrus, Cyrus get, some, get, some, get, some, get some more stuff in your hand. Yeah, another power spray. Cyrus, and then energy. Yeah, power spray is a pretty good call here. The Cyrus chain. Oh, I, I just saw it. I think he sh I think Jimmy shuffled the cards and drew Cyrus to go on the bottom. I guess we'll let him know. Oh, it's too it's way too late. No, he put him at the bottom. Oh he did? I don't think he did, because the, the the top card is on the disc card is electro. Well no, I think he shuffled him and he's exact. Oh. Oof. Well, this format was played last ten years ago, so Excuse us for our mild mistake. Get to the left side. Yeah, I'd probably take the knockout on Sableye. Yeah. You get two good call energies. It's just, oh, it would be like fighting. 30. Fight. <laughs> good yeah. call. Cyrus here, probably I imagine for I don't think I don't know how many power spray he's got. It's like three or four, that's it. You're only gonna play one game because you've done so much and yeah. you've done the thing. That's true. Yeah, there, there's only gonna be one game in this matchup. I would really like him to go for a hunch card here. Um Can you go for a hunch card? Yeah. No. You can't. He used Cyrus's would be awesome. He can get a speed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, he needs the regular haunch crow. Oh, I know. Not the SP1. Well, he may have tried to. Well, he can get Poke. He could have got Poke uh, Poketown. But I think it needs 300 to attack. I didn't see it in his deck, but it could be prized. Uh, it, oh, yeah, it could be prized, too. It could be prized at haunch crow, unless it's in his hand. Yeah. It's not in his hand. Catch him in the Murkrock. I thought he'd do it. Thanks. Yep, see, he went for the Azoth. I mean, his bench was full, but uh, I, th yeah, I, I didn't see the Honchkrow. I might have been missing. I, th I, th I, I think the normal Honchkrow. Uh, did he prize the normal Honchkrow? Yeah, I think I didn't see it. I didn't see it. It's not in his hand, so I would imagine he had to have prized it. Ugh, that's, that's a little rough, but I, th I still think he's in a good thing. spot. As I said, before, this is only one game. Yeah, I would have said with, with Jimmy's hand, I would have. Um, it was this hand. game, but this Frank game could knows. take a while. I mean, but no, this is this is a good opening for him to use Hodgkin. Would have been a good time. Yes. 
now what person is doing this? Do we have an, an electric energy? So he did get an electric energy. So he can now start attacking with um, stronger attacks um, with the left ray if he so chooses to do it. He can take a knockout move. He's going to use flash bite. Okay. I know you have it. Oopsie's versatility is showing up. And he gets the mime in front. So now, because of Ray the mime, um, he's going to need something with three energies to take out the mime. Uh, uh, I don't have... <laughs> Players commenting on the music and it's not the greatest. Yeah. Try to make you know, some, you know, some chill beats. At one point, there was there was some dubstep with the with the Pokemon Center theme. Yeah, with some poke with the Pokemon Center theme. That's what it sounded like. Getting the Hodge crowd with prizes is as well. All right, that's what I would have done. So he did the time walk to get the Hodge crowd with the prizes. This, 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 the baby adults are desperate. This Oopsie level X is such a good card. Yeah. Every, every deck that, put, well, mostly every deck that played Oopsie would run that. There's no reason not to. No reason not to. Yeah. An attack for a double, you could knock out things. But, it, but now you have it. Pidgeotto is an uncommon. With a glue, it's a common. Yeah. When it's, I saw that we got that still. Pidgeotto with the tr the trade off, I was like, wow. Wow. So this card's gonna be good. Yeah, this is the Haunch Crow. It has an attack crawl and riot. Um, that does 30 plus 10 for each uh, Pokemon that isn't evolved. So, you could, at the time, you know, um, you got like 80. Uh, here comes the crow. So you swing for 80 on, on things, and that was a decent bit of damage for the time. Um, the problem is, the Luxray might get... This Luxray is going to get fed... Yeah, he's gonna go and hit the mime. Um, if Jimmy can take out this haunch crow, he may not be in the worst situation if he can get that electro out. Because Frank does a three prize, so he can't just jar chomp out uh, everything. And he's got, I think, he, I think he, he topped a Krillin's energy. I guess because yeah, of his prizes. So. DCE is good. Mm. Um, now I'm not going to make a huge guess on what he's going to uh, do here. But my guess is he's going to try to take out the Haunch Crow. Needs to, it's just gonna run right over. Yeah, it's just gonna, it's gonna be one shot or two shot everything. Um, there is a downside to using flash. I mean, also with level X is you can use the attack from the previous uh, thing, so he doesn't necessarily have to use flash impact to put damage out on this field. He could use if he gets an electric. It doesn't apply weakness, so that's the problem. It doesn't play weakness. Well, then he yeah, but he could use a. The other the, the attack the seventy damage attack from doesn't it take two like doesn't it take two lightning? I think one lightning and double colors so it just appeared on the screen right now. It has an ability to grab that and then it does. So one thing I've learned from knowing Jimmy for Ten years plus is that you can never count him out in a game. Oh no, not at all. How do I knock that out in ninety? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking.
Have a good one, Nick. Take it easy. Um, Nick, you're um, we this game could go for another thirty minutes. We never know if it's okay, so you can go for the electric energy. Now it's a matter of what basic has he completed. Yeah, see. Um, yeah, see, it's just it's a psychic, it's a lightning and a double or two oh, doubles. Okay. I thought it was two lightning. Two. I believe this Honchkar is going down this turn. It's a matter of what else does he want to get? Um, I'd go probably Spirit Control, knowing that Franco has the power space oh. ready to go. Yeah. Just have it just in case. But then again, I mean, the power, but, but even with, with Spirit Tomb, I mean, all he's doing with Spirit Tomb is, is trainer locking. If the Luxray does it, in fact. But the problem is, he, he, Jimmy knows Franco's got the yeah. power spray, so I think you gotta go. You gotta go. Yeah, I think so. Spray. Jimmy's really concentrating on his stuff. He can only get a base of Beer. With, with, with Roseanne's, he can't grab the Electrode. Um, but he could grab the Electrode. The Electrode won't be a bad grab either. Decision making in these games is always a lot harder to do in the current time. Um, every little thing, especially in SP mirrors, every little thing you did would could affect you in, in the long game. If you if you grabbed a you know a curl that when you should have grabbed a Garchomp, that's gonna haunt you with the comeback and it's gonna not go so well. Taken advantage of. Oh well, see, here's that Lucario I referenced earlier. Was was in frame. Oh, he's gonna go for the Lucario. That is interesting. That is a very interesting choice. Um, Jimmy is the only person I ever saw play that card, ever. Um, Times for weakness. It hits. I think it's a. Is it what? What's this? It's body hits. It, it, it's for times four weakness and times two, I believe. So, look, Galactic Switch here. Get that energy off, you don't need it. Attack. No, no, no. It's not knocked out. It's a, it's don't apply weakness to the bench damage. Oh, bench damage. Never mind. Yeah. It is knocked out. I can't read. I'm sorry. I've been playing Pokemon for 12 years and I can't read. <laughs> Luxury G and it's Luxury Jello actually. See, I was... I couldn't afford Luxray. I had, can to, I had to borrow can respond Luxray to this is why This is why SP is just such a chess match. It's just yeah. That's the best way to probably describe it. It's, just, it's a chess match. It's just... Uh, I mean, it's super technical. That's yeah, why that's SP... I felt. You were down two or three pies. You're, there's yeah. really almost no way of coming back. SP decks, you could... It's, it's pretty much... It's a toolbox. It's, you have all these different types. You have the ability... Do so many different things with things like uh, energy gain, and the little little one-offs like a lot of Lux Chomp lists only played one Psychic Energy in the deck just for the for the Toxicroak. Um, 
and all they would do is rosanes to grab it and you would have this you know toxic croak energy uh, energy game and you'd be able to start swinging at Mewtwo or swinging at uh, Lux Razor like what you just saw there that's exactly what happens this game is he can um he needs the electrode I think he will the electrode Just a poke at this guy. Power sprays. I think he's only used one power spray in this entire game. Um, no, yeah, Franco still has power spray in this game. He's got two. He's got two. The deafening. <laughs> deafening Franco. Let's read the psychic. So. This is not looking good for Jimmy. But then again, as I said, never, never can count, never can count the man out. You're seeing, uh, you're seeing a, a, a quality game. Two very skill intense players, tensive players, playing a skill intensive matchup. What does that bolt do? It's charged. So it's charged. So it's like a charge, basically. Yeah, so it's going to attack. Franco's having this massive season. Got a Venus Seeker. I'm not even. <laughs> Tails on the leaf away. And he'll be so good here. Oh, wait, it's not going to bolt anymore. I'm just, I'm just kidding. And it wouldn't have been strong in this format. It would just have held your turn. Get the knockout on the Volt Orb. Yeah, for sure. Go down to one prize, and yeah, he's, he's pretty much at that point. Yeah. I would say Franco's Franco's in a good position to take that. Yeah, so it's it's not looking good for for Jimmy right now. Just gonna use the errands. The one via secret is this. Proceed. I think I played two in my list. Because there's so many one ofs. Yeah. Poke turned. Yeah, Franco's, turned. Franco's just Venus. got attackers waiting. Yeah. Poke attack again. Healing? Yeah. Take a bronze on this. Now, this is not looking very good. This is. Yeah, I don't see a way. Out. I don't see a way Energy. out. For, I don't. I don't. I, I don't see a way out for Jimmy here. Does this have an explosion-like attack? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so this is obviously the game. Yeah. Um. What happened? All right, and we're back. As we're back. Exciting um, match. That was a, you know, it was a, it was a good representation of an SP mirror. Um, I don't know how many of those SP mirrors it could or SP decks were played on stream today. But, uh, All right, guys. Uh, we'll be back for another round here in a minute. Thank you, guys.